So today's webinar is on Goodreads. What is Goodreads? Goodreads is the largest online library website and book recommendation site for readers. You can join reading groups, create reading lists, recommend books to others, and get recommendations from others. This website is a great way to keep track of your personal library. This, there's a feature where you're able to list uh, what you're currently reading, what you want to read, and what you have read. Goodreads provides and fosters a community of readers who share the same passion for books. Benefits of Goodreads. Goodreads is unique to other book recommendation sites as they tailor your, your recommendations to your interests based on the books you have read and are currently reading or want to read. Easily find something new to read by going over reviews and new releases. Add cu customizable shelves to organize your favorite books. Join discussions on certain books and have the opportunity to interact with authors of your, fav uh, authors of your favorite stories. Automatically track your Kindle reads by linking to your Amazon account. The best part of this website is every single feature is free. History of Goodreads. Goodreads was found by Stanford graduates Otis Chandler and Elizabeth Curry Chandler in 2006. Inspired by a friend's personal library, they wanted to create a space where users could catalog their collection and share their thoughts on the books they have read. In their first in initial years, Goodreads was run solely through angel investors. In 2011, Goodreads acquired Discover Reads. In 2013, Goodreads was acqu acquired by Amazon. Goodreads' mission statement is to help people find and share books they love. How to use Goodreads. To access the Goodreads website, you can type goodreads.com into your internet browser. You're able to use your pre-existing Facebook, Google, Amazon, or Apple account to register. When you first register, it will give you a list of literary genres, and you're able to check off the ones you like. Getting started. When you first create an account, you have the option of finding friends through email or Facebook, setting reading goals, re rating books, and viewing recommendations. If you prefer, you can, skip, uh, you can skip each of these steps except for the rate book step. Once you log in, you'll have access to all Goodreads features. Your personal homepage will be filled with trending books, endless recommendations, discussions, reading clubs, etc. You can add the books you're currently reading, want to read, or have read. As you read and add more books to your library, the recommendations Goodreads gives you becomes more refined. An interesting feature of the site is that you can track your progress on your current books. With Goodreads, you can track your reading progress by entering the date you started reading and constantly updating which page you're at at the end, you're at, and your thoughts on the book. Once you finish your book, you can press the I'm finished button while updating your progress, this gives you an opportunity to write a review on the book and rate the book out of five stars. There are four main tabs within Goodreads that will give you access to all features across the site. Home, My Books, Browse, and Community. In the Browse tab, you're able to access your endless recommendations, books that have won Goodreads Choice Award, new releases, public reading list, and explore page, uh, the explore page, and news and interviews done by authors. You can also access the top books from your favorite genres on the right-hand side. In the community tab, you're able to access reading groups, discussions, quotes from authors, and other famous individuals. You can access the author question and answer feature. There are also features such as trivias and quizzes where you can test your knowledge on books. The creative writing feature allows for users to post their original compositions 
for the Goodreads communities for recreational purposes or to gain insightful feedback. The people section allows for users to be introduced to be introduced the to, to the top 100 book reviewers of the month. With this feature, you're able to click on the profile and read their reviews on books they have read. Finally, the events column features any books releases, book talks, writing workshops, etc. offered by authors from all around the world. On the other side, you can access more personal things. You can search for books, check your notifications, check your discussions, check your private messages, check and add friends, your personal account settings. Buying and borrowing books. If you would like to buy or borrow a book, first click on the book you're interested in. Under get a copy, there are different links for you to choose. Click Amazon to be redirected to the product on amazon.com or .ca. Click online stores to see where else it is available for purchase. Click WorldCat to see which nearby libraries have this book available. Goodreads app. Goodreads also has an app available for iOS and Android. It has all the same features as the website with the additional feature of being able to scan book covers from your phone to read reviews and save it onto your want to read shelf. Join the reading challenge to help you motivate yourself. Buy or borrow books with convenient links. Alternative book recommendation sites. Literature map. Type in an author's name and then view similar authors that other readers are enjoying. The site generates a map that displays author names in relative states of closeness. Which book? Book recommendations are calculated by one out of two categories, book mood or character, setting, and plot. Narrated moves. A recommendation site for those who are looking for both films and books created by women and non-binary writers. Rifle. A simpler site for keeping track of authors that what you're reading and personalized book recommendations also has bookshop locator feature. Okay, so uh, you can just search on your intro browser, goodreads.com. You'll see a page that looks like this. If you already have an account, you can sign in. Um, and if you want to create an account, you can create right here. And if you want to sign in using Facebook, Google, Amazon, or Apple, you can do that right here. So I'll uh, sign in. And when you sign in, you'll see um, updates from trending books or latest books. So if you scroll down, you'll be able to see uh, the 2021 reading challenge. So you can challenge yourself to reading more this year. So it can be either two books or 12 books. And you can start the challenge right here. Um, and you'll see your want to uh, your bookshelves that show your want to read, currently reading, and already read books right here. So I'm going to search for a book. And it will take me uh, to the book and it shows me a description of what the story is um, and on this side it shows me if you want to put it to a want to read already read or currently reading uh, section so I'm just going to put it on the currently reading section I can also add it to a shelf um, and when you click on the currently reading it will ask you um, for what page you're on so if I say I'm on the third page, for example, um, it will show me, I can either submit, I can, uh, or I can say that I have already finished the book. I can also uh, get a copy of this book on Amazon, other online stores, and WorldCat. So if I click on Amazon, 
it takes me to this page um, Amazon on Amazon.ca, uh, where it shows me that the hardcover for this book is $44.67, and there's also a Kindle edition. It also shows me that there's only one book left in stock. And if I go to WorldCat, it shows me uh, different places that I can get this book from. And if I scroll down, um, I can see the community reviews. So what people are saying about this book. And I can also write a review of my own, uh, rating this book from out of five stars. And if I click on write a review, it takes me to this page where I can write a review, um, enter the date I started and the date I finished, and then post. Yeah, so that's it.